Right guys, Reese here from Stoic Pool uh, with the next video of the Aiken course empowered by the Cardano Foundation. In this video, we're going to be having a look at our buy case. Let's get into it. Right guys, so with our buy case, if you remember, we need to make sure that the output is uh, the NFT, the asset at our UTXO is going to the person buying and that the seller is receiving their ADA, which they've listed as the price. So we need to check those two things. That's what we're going to be doing in this video. Right, so if we switch to VS Code, we got our market buy um, redeemer case. And what we're going to do is just put that in some curly braces and we'll just put a comment in saying seller gets paid the listed amount. Now, the way that we're going to check this is we're going to find, we're going to search the outputs to find an output that goes to the seller. All right, and then after we do that, we can check that the listed payment amount is being sent in that output. So we're going to say expect some payment because it's going to be an option. And we're going to say list.find TX outputs. And in we're going to search an output for a payment credential of verification key that matches the d.seller. Now, a verification key is the credential of a wallet address as opposed to a script. So this means that we're checking that that a uh, hash that's held at the datum, the seller's credential, is a wallet credential, like a wallet address, a payment credential of a wallet address, and that that is where we have a payment. Right now we're just saying any payment is going to that person. So what we can do with that sum payment is we can check that the value in that payment is the same as the listed price of the NFT. And the way we do that is we use our assets module. So in the standard library we've got this assets module, and in assets, we have a Lovelace of, which basically takes a value and it checks or it returns the integer. Lovelace is the smallest denomination of ADA. So this is checking the output for ADA. And we can just say assets.lovelace of and have our payment.value, which is the value in that payment output. Because remember, outputs have addresses, values, datums, and optional reference scripts. So we're gonna check that value is correct by saying that assets.lovelace payment value is equal to d.price, which is the price listed at the datum for that NFT. We need to import the verification key from cardano.address, and we also need to import assets. And now if we run a can check, you'll see we get well, one warning, which says that we're still not doing anything with price for our edit redeemer case, but we'll get, that in, we'll get into that in the next video. So now we have the uh, buy case sorted, that redeemer case. We're making sure that there's a payment going to the seller and we're making sure that it matches the list price that's been set for that NFT. Okay, so that's it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna be having a look at the last redeemer case in this validator, which is edit. I'll see you then.